is up their uh, uranium production. You know why they want to produce more uranium, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's, I think there's going to be a Mideast war this year. I hope I'm wrong. You really uh, think so? Wow. Well, I real I I don't think Israel Israel does not take BS. They, okay, they, they're gonna they see these guys upping the ante. They have a survival instinct like no other country, and I think they're gonna take action. They may do it covertly, like they did once, where they shut down the um, um, I forget the things that spin that make the uh, uh, uranium and centrifuges. They well, blow up the centrifuges with a virus called Stuxnet. Yeah. I mean, they're either going to do it. Thank you, Sean. They're either going to do it covertly or they're going to do a military. Have you noticed that Israel has signed a lot of peace agreements with the other Mideast countries? Why? Yeah. Because there will be no retribution. No one wants to get involved and there's no love loss for Iran. Um, information will be revealed about um, horrific death tolls in some countries like Mexico, China, Russia, and North Korea from COVID. You notice uh, there's nothing, there's very little information coming out of those countries. And uh, they have a different lifestyle and standard. I think we're going to hear some, some really horrible stats. Uh, hopefully, we're going to reestablish relationships with our European uh, countries and, and see what goes on with NATO and, other, uh, NATO and other organizations. Anybody have a comment on foreign? I agree with the um, horrific death tolls. I, 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 ha I have friends in Mexico, um, and the information that I'm getting it's it, it's horrible. It's and and there seems to be a news uh, blackout on what's going on in some of these other countries. And Mexico is very close to it. I mean, I live. I can see Mexico from my house in California. Um, and yeah. They don't have the health care like we do. Uh, it's a different standard of living in some of the big cities like Tijuana. Um, yeah. You know, they're, yeah. They're seeing they're seeing sharing information as being negative to their the world's perception of them. So they're holding everything to the best and the truth is going to come out, I agree. It's gonna agree and, it, and, it's, and it's gonna be horrible. And hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll learn a lot of lessons from mm -hmm. this year, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. go to economy. The economy will grow this year as we slowly, very slowly recover in the first two quarters from the COVID devastation. The exceptions will, uh, I think, are California and, and New York City as many major corps, Tesla, Elon Musk, Oracle, Amazon, Hewlett Packard, Dell, are moving to Texas and other business friendlier places. Uh, they're, leaving these, these, they're leaving these major areas due to high housing costs, government intrusion, regulation, and cost of living. We're seeing this right now that uh, companies, they're not putting up with nonsense. They're just moving to friendlier states. Uh, right now. Anybody have something to add to that? How do you think that's going to affect um, California and New York City in particular? I mean, th there has to be an opportunity in there somewhere, right? No, I think no. they're, I think they are, this is opinions now, it's okay to disagree. I think they are so, uh, so worried about political correctness that they're going to let their economy slide, uh, economies and real estate slide tremendously. Are you leaving? Um, I left. Oh, you're gone. You don't. You, 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 you. <laughs> I left. I, I left New York City a long time ago. Uh, uh -huh. You know, and we uh, we live in. We still have a home in Southern California. Yeah, that's I love the weather there. I love. I have good friends and living there. But my whole business has been entirely transplanted to Colorado. And probably one of the biggest mistakes I made in my my business was not. Uh, was not establishing um, uh, uh, residence in, in Wyoming. Yeah. Which is right up the state. They'd have no state revenue tax there. Right, and they're, and they're the corporate shield. Yeah, corporate shield. I think a lot of people were reading, I'm reading a lot of companies, a lot of individuals are moving. There's a cultural shift. We'll get to that in a minute. Entrepreneurism will f flourish as low cost Stay-at-home businesses and startups continue to emerge. America's learned something from this COVID, that they mm -hmm. can keep people at home and they can work from home and they can even be more productive. Uh, we've even seen um, homeschooling. Peer parents are taking responsibility for their children's education. We The cocooning that was predicted, I think, in the 70s and 80s, I think it's come true here in the 2020. Absolutely. Um, uh, to uh, to uh, 21, uh, GOP controls Senate, one or two extra votes 
or even a 50-50 split puts the kibosh on the Biden administration plans to reverse the Trump tax cuts. That should bear well for corporate profits, which are also primed for a major rebound uh, when the pandemic wanes. This, uh, this election, which I asked uh, before about uh, in, uh, in Georgia is really, um, it's a game changer. It really is. I'm, I'm saying that uh, there's gonna be one Democrat and one Republican, which still gives the Republicans uh, a majority in the Senate, which might, uh, slow th uh, might slow down some new taxation and things. For 2021, uh, it remain tomorrow. We'll find tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll find out. Yeah. Um, absolutely, I know both the president and the president elect are both in um, going to Georgia tomorrow, today or tomorrow. By the way, um, it's it's a really this one Senate election is a game changer. So everybody's now, do, watching. Do, do you see the Trump tax cuts as being um, consumer friendly? Because most of what I've seen, they're corporate friendly. I, well, I have a corporation, and if I have more money, guess what I do with it? Save it and reinvest it, right? Yeah, I reinvest it. I buy more real estate. Yeah. I have my, um, it, all that stuff. The money, you know, we can, um, I'm a big, uh, I know it, it's controversial, trickle down economy and all that. Yeah, it doesn't but, work. Um, this, um, what was it? We paid tremendous uh, with the corporate tax cuts. We paid so much less in taxes in 2019 going into 2020. So, so your much. suggestion is that we restructure ourselves as corporations, as entities in, in, in that respect, so we can take advantage of these opportunities. I think everybody in this Zoom room should have an LLC at the least. It offers, we talked about that two weeks ago, it offers protection, it offers you tax write-offs, um, it establishes greater credit under the corporate entity. There's too many advantages uh, for it. So, um, uh, I yeah. Do, do you have any 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 training on that? In case you don't, and I'm not promoting anything, but there's a there's a YouTube channel or Anderson Consulting, and they have so much really uh, good free information about structuring, how to do it, how to you know organize your 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 corporations and LLCs for maximum tax benefits. Um, just as an aside. No, that's great. And um, if you could put out uh, the link or something in the chat box, that'd be wonderful. Um, either an LLC, uh, we, uh, I have an S corporation, there's C corporations, there's partnerships, limited. There, it really depends on the size of your business, how many employees, and what's your tax structure. Something you need yeah. to speak to a good tax attorney or accountant about, absolutely, depending on your business. Most people, kitchen table millionaires, I call them, an LLC is inexpensive and easy to set up. Uh, oil prices will remain low in the early year and rise significantly as travel increases. Online purchasing is here to stay. We knew that already, right? Del yeah. People love delivery convenience and Uber Eats. All that's done. Uh, we're going to see some bankruptcies. Uh, uh, we're seeing them already in restaurants. Um, Tremendous amount of bankruptcies in the cruise lines, in restaurants, and in other areas. But getting into the third quarter we're gonna see a rebound because the first thing everybody's gonna to wanna to do in the warm weather and the COVID virus is gone. What do to do? Please mute yourself, whoever that was. Please mute yourself. Thank you. Still getting background noise. Who's ever got their mic on? Okay. Let me see. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to mute everybody. I'm getting too much background noise from one, one, one thing. Okay, sorry about that. If you want to, I, I love participation, but I can't have background noise. Uh, on there, for, it interrupts everyone else. So if somebody has a comment or something, which I welcome, please unmute yourself and join in. You guys can hear me. Somebody give me a thumbs up on the screen here. Okay, good. Back into it. Where were we? Economy? Um, interest rates will remain low until the end of the year and then watch out. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Bankruptcy. Bitcoin. This is controversial. Okay, I know there's some Bitcoin fans out there. I think Bitcoin is gonna go up to $50,000 of Bitcoin. That's my prediction. And then watch it crash like it's done previously. 
So uh, Bitcoin is gambling, and if you got ga if you like to gamble a little, or you think you can um, you can stand the uh, the ups and downs of it, it's very emotional. You can have some fun with it. It will go up, definitely. But watch it come down. It'll definitely crash like it always does. Let's go. Uh, ch -ch -ch. A final thing: superior sales. Those with superior sales skills will economically thrive this year in a record year. It always comes back to the basics. You got to be great at sales. You got to be superior, better than your competition. Culture. Oh, this is where th things will be quieter. Who wants it? Who's what? Who's ready for a little bit of a quieter year? Okay, it's been uh, you know. It, it's been a little it's been a little loud out there for a while, hasn't it? Okay, things are going to get a little quieter for the first two quarters. We have a different type of president. Um, I don't think he wants to be uh, as uh, opinionated. Frankly, he's probably going to be a very a low boil. Um, uh, let's see here. I put that link in the chat. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Culture, let's talk about the culture. Culture is important. Things will be quieter, but then I think once the warm weather comes and the COVID, we're gonna party like it's 1968, guys. It's gonna be Woodstock. I think the Americans are gonna to go to the beaches. They're gonna barbecue, they're gonna travel. I think we are so, once again, so sick of the hibernation that uh, we're just gonna step out to restaurants and do a lot of fun things again once the handle on this COVID is diminished, once, once it's not so scary anymore. Um, I think privacy is gone. You're going to see a hell of a lot more surveillance cameras in our society, even in places we never expected. Uh, right, we're going to see, um, besides travel, we're going to see a lot of new restaurants. And these restaurants are going to have two things they learned from COVID, that you better have a drive up window and you better have delivery service. Um, more focus on cleanliness. Absolutely, I think somebody. We're not going to go to a restaurant that appears. We're not going to uh, that appears dirty. Um, I'm going to see. Uh, I'm going to th in entertainment. I think we're going to see a lot of more fun movies. We've had enough doom and gloom for 12 months. I think we're going to see lighthearted Animal House fun movies, fun th musicals, things like that are going to come out. Who thinks movie theaters are going to exist in two in 2021? What do you think is going to happen to movie theaters? Unmute yourself. Drive-ins are coming back. I love drive-ins. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I had some of my be best dates as a teenager. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what about regular movie theaters? I think Regal has closed. Uh, Regal, which is one of the larger chains, has closed mm -hmm. all their theaters. Do you think? Do you think we're going back to movie theaters, or we're going to watch, uh, or we're going to just buy uh, new movies? We're gonna pay 15, 20, $30 and watch them at home. Watch at home is gonna be big unless they come up with a new concept for movie theaters. Mm -hmm. I think the technology is caught up and we can stream a new movie now. Um, we mm -hmm. saw that experiment, um, uh, what was it, Mulan? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, uh, tr uh, there was that one movie for the kids, Trolls Around the World. Mm -hmm. It was only uh, the kids, the people scre uh, streamed it to their house for their kids. That movie made a hundred million dollars without being shown in the theaters, I believe. Hundred million. Hey, plus 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 TV screens are, are bigger than ever and more affordable than ever. Exactly. So I think yeah. people are gonna. So if you buy one movie for twenty dollars and you invite ten of your friends over and have a barbecue and drinks, I think they. Yeah. Well, not even not even invite them over. Netflix and 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 um, Disney Plus and stuff. They have a share option where you can share it with a whole bunch of other people all watching at the same time. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. I think that's the new way that we're going to be watching movies. Sure. Absolutely. You got companies, you got companies like Netflix that are making their own movies and they're making them for television. They're not making them for the theaters. So. Oh yeah. The, the Netflix movies. Um, I have that here. Where is that? They're coming out with stuff back to back. Movies and like different series. Seriously. I have it somewhere here uh, on the movies. Uh, where did it go? I was hoping you'd play a Little House in Prairie for us. No, oh, do, do you like that? <laughs> well, clips of that one, Claude. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my sense of humor. 
Uh, let's finish up on culture real fast. Uh, more fun movies. Yes, movie theaters are gone. Masks are here to stay. I think we, we're going to kind of emulate that uh, Asian culture that uh, when you get a cold or a flu, it's, uh, you're not going to be embarrassed by wearing a mask in public. Um, I don't know if hugging and handshakes are going to come back right away. That might be a while. Homeschooling, very big. Uh, people are moving. Culture, major culture shift. People who can afford it. Why, would, why live in an expensive city when you can live and work anywhere and, and it's a lot cheaper? I've had friends who've left California, Seattle, and they've moved to Idaho, Montana, Colorado. We're seeing this. We're see, places to watch. Colorado, Idaho, Montana, Arizona, uh, Nevada, Florida, New Mexico, and Texas. Go ahead, Steve. Steve, I thought you said something. Okay. Um, more demonstrations in the same basic areas as before this spring and summer. Some may be violent against retail businesses. Major chains, corporations, and franchise stores will be relocating or rethinking where is a better place to operate from. It is, it is, just, it is just common sense. They're not going to stay in places where the government is not going to control violence and burning and looting. They're going to move. That was an opinion. You don't have to agree. Um, real estate. I think it's going to grow. Watch it grow, especially in some Sunbelt states, central and mountain states. I have, we are seeing, uh, I, I cannot believe what is going on in real estate in Colorado right now. These little rural ski towns and communities, we're seeing multi-million dollar homes being built. We're seeing condos that go for a half a million to two, three million dollars being purchased before they're completed. I mean, I'm just looking at the tea leaves here. Why are these rural and suburban areas, why is the real estate so strong? What's going on? Why are people moving? They want to get out of the cities. They can work remotely and it's cheaper. It's remote, it's cheaper, it's safer. Um, and if they, uh, I live in a little town, in a little ski town, and we have Xfinity Wi-Fi here. I have screaming fast Wi-Fi in a little remote area, cable, underground cable, and everything here. I could work here as I have for the last, uh, what, nine months, uh, fine, with no issues at all. Overpriced major city locations will see a drop in prices and rents eventually. I'm sorry, Bill, you need a cup of coffee there, buddy? <laughs> I saw that yawn, man. I was ready to pull, put up a toll bridge there. <laughs> Travel. People will go travel crazy, as I said before, as, as people become inoculated and the statistics go down. Um, absolutely. RV sales, and we're seeing it already, are skyrocketing. Why? Why are people buying these big Winnebago's and stuff? Because they want to travel and they want to travel safely. They don't want to be in motels. And I'll tell you, here's my prediction. Go for it. <clears throat> motels are going to start disappearing. They're going to be start getting converted into condos. What's going to be converted? Hotels. Hotels. Okay. That, that's, a that's a possibility. Why do you want to stay in a hotel when you can um, maybe do an Airbnb or you can stay in your RV, right? I think that I do think hotels and motels as people travel and we become more. Do you think we're going to become complacent once this COVID is uh, under control, once it dissipates? Do you think we're going to revert to... Uh, our usual uh, lifestyle? No. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, think I so. say half the people will and half the people won't. Yeah. They won't want us to, but a lot of people will. Recreation. Summer of 21 will be epic. Beach, barbecues, travel, and concerts. Americans need a major release from 12 months of hibernation. Stocks of uh, travel and Airbnb, who mentioned that before. I think they are going to soar. Oh, here we go, the movies. Worst movie of the year, Wonder Woman. What a waste that was. <laughs> okay. And that was a movie that was in, supposed to be in the theaters and it's streaming live now on, uh, is it uh, on uh, HBO Max, I believe. HBO Max, yeah. Yeah. It, is anyone here, tell me I'm wrong, but I thought it was the, I couldn't, wa I couldn't get past 45 minutes of Wonder Woman and I love sci-fi. I like it. Yeah. I've, I've heard bad things about it. I thought Wonder Woman was a cure for insomnia. I liked it. 
Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. I'm glad you liked it. You like it or you like Gal Gadot? Did you watch it? <laughs> did you watch it in one sitting, or you broke it apart during potty breaks? No, we, we actually went to the movies on Christmas. Okay. So I think it was as partly getting out of the house too. So. Okay. So you were brave. You went to a movie theater. Yeah, you had to buy your tickets in advance, and they had social distancing at the theater. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Hillbilly Elegy. You guys are going to disagree with me. I like that movie. Anybody here watch it? It's on uh, also on Netflix. Um, then they had two other good, Emily in Paris and The Queen's Gambit. If anybody here loves chess, um, that great, uh, great, uh, great series on uh, Netflix. Let's go the little, to the little girl who plays Queen's Gambit in Queen's Gambit is amazing. She she was great. I really I loved it. I mean, I, yeah, I, I it's really good. It was very good. Uh, politics. It will be contentious. What a great prediction, right? <laughs> how, can you, <laughs> how can you go wrong saying that? You really went out on the limb on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it will be contentious as always. There are going to be very few major bills will be passed. Uh, depending on, it comes to the makeup of the Senate, actually. They might pass a few things that both parties can agree on, but there will be no fundamental major changes to medical or any, or social security or anything else. Um, the one thing I, I might- The birth of a third party. Uh, you know, I still have a per, uh, re, uh, elect Perot, Ross Perot t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, let's get a third party so we can really get some representation in here. Okay, third party's going to happen. Yep. What are we going to call it? Is it going to be the Libertarian Party? Are they going to get their act together? No, independent. It's going to be the MAGA Party. No, let's hope not. Now that's 80, 80 million people will say so. If there would be a new party, I think there's room in the middle. I think the most people have uh, certain issues. We're mm -hmm. very, uh, we're very, um, we're very liberal on it. We, we want to take care of other people. We want to help people. But on the other side, we also believe in conservative, basic, uh, good principles of hard work and, and entrepreneurship and, and not hurting other people. I think there's room in the, I think there's room for a middle party. Yeah. That's not too, it's not too left or not too right. Yeah. But uh, because the two part, because right now the country is so split and so contentious about each other, it's too, it's yeah. too much craziness. We got to get back to normal. Yeah. Whoa, no opinions here, right? No. Um, let's see here. Uh, the progress, I think it's going to be quiet for Biden the first hundred days. I think America is going to enjoy the quiet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I think um, after the first hundred days, uh, then I think the progressives are going to be all over him and attack him. <laughs> They're already attacking him. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, that um, is a fallback option. Yeah, let's go to technology here. We're almost out. Of, we are out of time here. Um, He's track tape. The Apple Car. Anybody have have you heard rumors of the Apple Car? It's going to come mm -hmm. out this year, mm -hmm. or there's. Uh, it's a car. It's going to be a battery powered car. It's going to be an auto drive car. It's going to give Tesla a run for the money. Absolutely. Speaking of Tesla, there's going to be monumental battery changes in the batteries. Biggest problem with electric cars is the batteries. They get too damn hot. hot. Too many cars are say, going on fire from these hot liquid batteries. There is a company right now. Um, I don't know if I put them on here. Um, they are working and coming out with a solid state battery that does not get hot. And it's a game changer. So, does anybody remember the name of that company? I forgot. Their stock is going through the roof. What's it trading at now? So, so uh, I can jump in. I, no. I, it's, uh, it's been going up and up. You'll just Google uh, uh, solid state batteries for cars and you'll find this okay. company. I'm sorry, I forgot their name here. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to see. I'm, I've always been curious about fusion. Fusion would give us unlimited clean energy. Somebody is going to make a breakthrough this year. That's my prediction. I want it on record. Um, there's going to be enormous increase in cost effective robot technology in production, transportation, medical, and especially food and package delivery. So some of you who are Uber Eats drivers might see, might lose your job to a so something made out of aluminum foil. 
Um, subscription services. More and more companies are going to these subscription services. How many of you have noticed that you're getting nickel and dime to death by $5 here, $10 here, $20 a month here by companies with their subscription services? Oh, yeah. Netflix, Netflix fee doubled in the last couple months. Right. And unless they keep their quality up and, and, and continue to be indispensable, uh, I think people are going to go to other places or uh, go to other places. Do you think that Netflix is, is going to be worth $25 to $50 a month? Are people going to pay that much? Well, I don't think people are going to want to pay that much for Netflix and Hulu and Cinemax Plus and HBO Plus and Disney Plus and uh, Crackle and whatever the other ones are. There's a bunch of new ones. Because now you're going to be paying more than you were with cable. We're going yeah. to have to somehow do this. I think Amazon is going to eat everybody's lunch. Amazon is here to stay. I, I, I don't think there's a day. I go on Amazon almost every day. I order products that I, so I don't have to go to my car and go to the supermarket. I order products on Amazon several times a week. It, it's great. Sometimes in, when I'm in San Diego, I get delivery a couple hours after I order something on Amazon. That's how fast it is in major urban areas. It's wonderful. Last Ooh. one. Go ahead. This guy is looking at every single market opportunity there is. And he made a statement two years ago. My brother works at our hedge fund. He said, your net profit is my opportunity. Think about that. Yeah. That's Amazon. But Jeff Bezos is brilliant. One person can make a difference in our society. He first started just selling books. Who remembers when Amazon was just a bookstore? Yep. Nothing. Yeah, and they put Barnes and Noble out of yeah. business. Yeah, poor Barnes and Noble, which I love. I love going yeah. into a bookstore. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. Okay, last one before we go here, because we're over time here. Trump will be, this is an easy one. Trump will be back on TV with his own new show or even his own network in <laughs> 2021. I don't think his personality will allow him to be quiet. I think he'll, he'll even begin rebuilding for a 2024 election funding and committee. Yep. He will announce he, that he is running sometime in 2021 or 22, that he will be running, but it possibly, I mean, the man's in his 70s, there could be health concerns, and he is a little overweight. Bottom line, last word, things will get better as we see the COVID diminish. We slowly go back to a new normal. There will inevitably be cultural and financial changes in our society, but America's greatest strength is our resilience, our flexibility uh, to adapt, to change. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, my last prediction, we will be okay. Amen. Amen. Thank I, you. I believe, I believe Quantum Scape is the name of the, of the company. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate